Good evening, everyone. Yes, good evening. Okay, how are you tonight? Are you doing okay? Hi. Hi, Catherine. Hello, Aníbal, are you okay tonight? Fine? Great. Okay, there we go. Isidro, yeah. how are you tonight? I'm very good. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Jose Arnoldo, how are you tonight? Very good. Excellent. Hello, Herman. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. You? Great. I'm doing great too. Yeah. Okay, guys. What you're gonna? Oh, come on. Tell me. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay, people. I'm going to call the roll because we have a lot of things to do tonight. Remember that today is Friday, so we have to. Um, uh, review also the things that we have done during the week. Even though we started on Wednesday, uh, it doesn't mean that on Friday we don't have to complete the material, okay? So we are gonna do that tonight. So let's start by calling the attendance. Please remember that you have to turn on your cameras and say present when I call your name, okay? Here we go. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano, Aníbal Osmaro Mur Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Okay. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Germán Enrique González Valeriano. Present teacher. Okay. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Present. Um, Isidro Ernesto Costa Maldonado. Present, teacher. Okay. Jose Arnoldo Sánchez Lemus. Present teacher. Jose Ulises Anaya Cortés. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present Juan, Juan Francisco, ah, perdón, ahí está, eh, había escrito que iba de, de, de oyentes. Oh, ok. Thank you very much sí. for letting me know. Ok. Sí, yeah, sí, I voy, remember. Saliendo, voy saliendo ahorita. Yes, you told me. Ok. Thank you for letting me know. Ok. Uh, Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Katherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Present teacher. Okay. Kelly Maricela Díaz Lozano. Present. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Rebeca, ok, thank you, Marian. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Wendy. Lizette Gómez García. Um, Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Presente. Okay. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present teacher. Lady Olivet Cruz Guzman. Henry Vladimir Ramirez Martinez.
Okay. Okay, people, we are going to start tonight by doing some feedback and then we're going to start with the topic. But let me introduce the topic for tonight first. First, and then we are talking about the objective for tonight. And then we are going to do the feedback and then we are having uh, everything else. Okay, so let's start. I don't know why this thing did this. I do know because I clicked on it. <laughs> good night, good evening. Okay, cuando entramos, excellent. Wendy, uh, was it you? Wendy Maricela, welcome. Hello, hello teacher. Hello, welcome. Okay. Bien, Thank cuando you. entramos decimos good evening, okay? Good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. No es que esté equivocado decir good night, ¿verdad? Porque pues, es de noche, pero como un hola es good evening, ¿ok? Permítanme que como hay bastantes ventanas abiertas, me seguía presentando en donde estaba antes, hoy sí. Ahora sí. Here we are. The topic for tonight, guys, is how to use how much and how many. We know about how much and we know about how many, just a little bit, okay? But we are going to relate this to our jobs in the workplace and in our everyday life, okay? So we're gonna try to balance this topic, okay? How to use how much and how many. That's the topic for tonight. The agenda is that we are having um, the class objective presentation. Then we have some feedback. Uh, we're going to talk about a little more about the time expressions and we're going to practice, okay? We're going to practice. Then uh, we're going to talk about how much and how many, when we use how much and when we use how many. Then, obviously, how much is for money? So we are going to talk about money, money, money. And then we are going to the breakout rooms. We are uh, working in our manuals to, tonight. We are working in our manuals because we, we have to update, okay, all the material, okay? So uh, to the wrap-up, we are going to talk about some uh daily routines that we have, okay? The session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is for Georgina Beatriz, okay? Uh, she's the one for tonight. Okay. Esperemos que se conecte pronto. Eh, Georgina, ¿estará ya por ahí? Not yet. Si no se conectará Georgina, queda ese espacio disponible para eh, el que sigue en la lista, que yo les voy a decir quién y si no, pues, si no va a poder esa persona bien, entonces quedaría siempre available para que alguien pueda tomar ese lugar. Ok, vamos a entrar entonces to the class objective. Let's read. Participants will be able to make questions with how many and how much. Participants will be able to make questions with how many and how much. Ok. So let's start our feedback, hagamos una pequeña introducción para entrar a nuestro feedback, ok? Veamos esta pequeña quote. Quote es una frase que alguien dijo, ok? Normalmente the quote, porque ese es la, eh, el signo de puntuación, las comillas, ok? Quote, um, normalmente pues estas frases van en quotes. Por eso estas frases así que alguien dijo se llaman quotes. Entonces leamos, leamos, a ver. The brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office. 
A ver, volvamos a leerlo. Let's go back. The brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office. Robert Frost. Okay, that's the signature. He said that. A ver. Quiero ver. Um, Aníbal, can you read it, please? Just read. Only read. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, the bright is wonderful the organs. It start working the moment you get up in the morning. It uh, does not stop you till you until, get into until, the office. Until, oh, uh, until, until you until, get into the office. Until until, until, um, until, oh, until. Thanks, office. teacher. Thanks. Okay. Until. Uh, until. Yes. Until you get in, into the office. Into the sure. office. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Aníbal. Thank, Thank you very much. Jancy, can you read this quote, please? Okay. Um... The bra is a <laughs> Dele, sin miedo, anímese, that... okay? Vamos. Entrele. It start working say to Monday moment. You were up. No. You, you were... get up. You get up. You get up. In the morning. In the and morning. To, in the morning. Um, does not. <laughs> does not. Por acaba. Um, does not stop. So, until, um, bye, dígalo conmigo, until, and does not, dígalo, and does not, and does, and does not, stop, stop, until, until, you get into the office. You get you into get the office. In, you get into office. The office. The office. Okay, thank you very much, Jensi. Jose Arnoldo, please, can you read this quote? The brain is a wonderful or guy or or guy in start working the mo moment you get in the morning up do us not stop until you head in the office. Into the office. Very good. Thank you very much, Herman. Um, Jose Arnoldo, perdón. A ver, Marian, please. Can you read this quote for everybody? Okay, teacher. The brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop. Uh, esa palabra. Until. Until you get into the office. The office. Very good. Until significa hasta. Okay. Hasta que usted llega a la oficina. Until. Uh, until. Hasta. Uh, mm -hmm. Gracias. Ok, there you go, Marianne. Bien, a ver, ¿qué captaron de esto que han leído aquí? ¿Qué frases ya conocen? Vamos a ver. What phrases do you sure. know now? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Sure. Tell Does me. the world are the powerful? 
So this... those words are powerful. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are very strong words. The, yes. bra the brain is, bo is wonderful. Yeah, the, the brain, brain. The brain uh -huh. is wonderful. Yes. Uh, well, todo está prácticamente en la mente, prácticamente todo. O sea, okay. no, hay, no hay forma. Le digo porque ya lo he podido, lo he vivido prácticamente. Lo okay. he vivido. En, okay. en, como dicen, en carne propia lo he vivido. Qué poderosa la mente. Ok, yeah. great, yeah. great. Uh, we are talking that the brain is an organ inside our heads, right? So imagine that your skull, your skull contains a very wonderful oh, wow. organ. Mm -hmm. But why is this organ so wonderful? Why is it so wonderful? Uh, because it never stops. For real, it never stopped. But here, Robert is saying something very important. He's saying that your brain out of the office is working. But what about in the office? Mm, we need to use our brains in the office, okay? No, be automated, right? No, vamos a hacer como robots, ¿ok? No, Entonces, no. imagínense todo lo que usted está pensando. Las mujeres, ¿verdad? Cuando pensamos y pensamos y pensamos todo lo que pensamos. Bueno, los hombres piensan bastante también, no se quedan atrás. Ahora, hay que, que tantas diferencias, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, según esto que estamos viendo, es que usted nunca deje de innovar. Use su cerebro también en la oficina. Bien, pero veamos las frases que ya aprendimos, ¿ok? Veamos qué frases hemos aprendido que ya conocemos acá. Get up. Uh, work. Get up. Get up. Start working. Start working. It's start mm -hmm. working. Start working. Mm -hmm. In the morning. morning. In the morning. Okay. In the morning. The office. The office. Does not. Does, does not, not stop. Does not, does not stop. Not stop. <laughs> Ok, office, lo, exactly. entonces ya conocemos y diferenciamos algunas frases, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué nos falta? Unirlo. ¿Cómo lo vamos a unir? Armando oraciones completas, ¿ok? Armando oraciones completas. ¿Cómo vamos a armar la oración? A subject, a verb, and a complement, ¿ok? Veamos la primera, dice, the brain, ah, oh, that's the subject. Is, is the verb, a wonderful organ. Ah, so we have a compliment. Every time we're going to talk, we are going to use sentences, okay? So, to complete sentences, les vamos a hacer esta preguntita para recordar un poco lo de ayer. Cuando contestemos, contestemos con una oración completa, okay? When do you have lunch? When do you have lunch? Wendy Maricela? Una oración completa comienza con un sujeto. I. A ver, Wendy Marisela. I every day take to work. Ajá. I. I. ¿Qué es lo que como? No, when, when. Acordémonos que vimos time expressions oh, ayer, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es una pregunta de tiempo. When, ¿ok? Y aquí están las frases para que usted complete su oración, ¿ok? When do morning? Okay. Do you I... have Do you have lunch in the morning? Let's see here. Kelly Maricela, uh, just wait for us a little, Wendy. Um, uh, it was Maricela too. I have two Maricelas, right? Okay. Kelly Maricela, when do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon okay when do you have lunch marianne 
Uh, I sorry in the in the morning. Okay, lunch is el almuerzo. Okay. Andrea at noon. Yes, exactly. Vamos a ver, uh -huh. Kelly Maricela y Wendy Maricela otra vez. Vamos a ver. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. At noon. Ok. Vamos a ver. Esto aprendámoslo tal como está, que son frases que siempre okay. las van a utilizar de esta manera y nunca cambian. Ok. They never Ajá, change. Eso, que no When do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. Germán, when do you have lunch? Uh, I had lunch at noon. Excellent. Carmen Inés, when do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. Excellent. Jose Arnoldo, when do you have lunch? When do you do have lunch? Uh -huh. La respuesta, Jose Arnoldo, sería I, sería, have, I have lunch, lunch at noon. Excellent. Very good. Let's continue with Wendy Lisette. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. At noon. Okay. At Hen noon. Yes. Okay. Henry Alberto, when do you have lunch? I have lunch usually at noon. Sometimes Excellent. I have lunch in the afternoon. Oh, okay. It depends on the activities that you have to do. I think. Yes. Uh, or is it? They, they very hard. They very hard. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Now let's see. Ulises, when do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. Excellent. Very good. Isidro, when do you have lunch? I have lunch at 12 o'clock. Very good, at 12 o'clock, very good. Rolando, when do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. Okay, bien. Se fijan que a veces uno les, les así como a Henry le pasó, ¿verdad? Ay, es que no todos los días como exactamente al mediodía, ¿verdad? Entonces, not every day, ¿verdad? Entonces, podemos decir, tenemos dos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, el fin de semana puede ser que coman a una hora y los días de semana puede ser que comen a otra, ¿verdad? Entonces, on weekdays, I have lunch at noon. Ok, vamos a ver. On weekends, I have lunch um in okay in the, in the afternoon. afternoon excellent in, in the afternoon in acordémonos the de la frase no decimos at decimos in the afternoon okay entonces mientras voy al trabajo todos los días tengo un horario de trabajo pero el fin de semana no como a la misma hora verdad normalmente después de las porque me I get up late on weekends so I have lunch in the afternoon ok bien entonces recordemos que era lo importante en estas en estas expresiones Fisher tell me me da permiso levantarme un ratito unos cinco minutos por favor Okay, but please stay connected. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. We were talking about the importance of learning the preposition. Okay. Siempre acordémonos. Estas son las frases. Vamos a decir, every day, si se fijan, es separado. No es unido en este caso. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay. Vamos a ver entonces. Uh, when do you have breakfast? When do you have breakfast? When do every you... day. Uh huh. Oh, in, I have I have uh, the breakfast at, I... in the morning. I have. 
I have the breakfast in the morning. In the morning. Very good. In the morning. It doesn't change. We always have breakfast in the morning. But let's remember mm -hmm. but that sometimes we don't have breakfast, right? Maybe because we go to work kind of late or maybe when I'm working, I don't have breakfast and I wait until um, lunch, right? Okay, then I have breakfast oh. in the morning, okay? Cuando me... yo... Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, no, continuous teacher, sorry. Okay, let's imagine we learn early and we learn late. Okay, entonces, oh. I have breakfast, breakfast. In the... early, early in the morning. In the morning. Okay, oh. early in the morning. In the Puede morning. ser que usted antes del trabajo desayune. Okay, early in the morning. Y tenemos dos otras frases que son before and after. Letter. Okay, before and after. Before. Esas las vamos a aprender todavía un poquito más adelante, ¿verdad? Así que solo queda en el tintero. Vamos a ver. I have breakfast early in the morning before work, ¿ok? And then, vamos a ver lo que seguía para recordar un poquito lo de ayer. This time expressions. Acordémonos que siempre cuando sean días de los que vamos a hablar, ¿ok? Vamos a decir on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, ¿ok? Cuando hablemos de un día, ¿ok? Ahora, ¿qué tal si hablamos de todos los lunes? Something that I do eh, eh, todos los lunes o cada lunes. Ah, vamos a decir every. Every Monday I write a report. Every, every Tuesday I have a meeting with the manager. Okay. Every Wednesday I visit the warehouse. Okay. So I have one day for each activity, then I'm going to say every. Okay. This is just remembering. Okay. And then let's see. ¿Qué también podemos decir de esta otra forma? Permítanme, voy a ubicar acá un cuadrito. Ok. Si decimos on Mondays, en plural, ok. On Mondays, en plural, se entiende que todos los lunes sin falta de ningún lunes se hace una actividad. Ok. Es casi similar a every, ¿ok? Es casi similar a every. Ahora, veamos, uh, podemos decirlo en cualquier día, ¿verdad? Fridays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Pero tiene que ser el plural para saber que es todos los, ese día. A ver, uh, tell me, Henry. What is the difference? Ok, the difference here is... That in Spanish, we have these concepts, okay? In Spanish, we have these concepts. In English, every means no missing, okay? No missing that day, every, okay? Ahora, on Mondays is una, it's like more specific, okay? More specific instead of generally, okay? That's kind of the concept in English, okay, Henry? There we go. Now let's okay. think. Okay. Thank you. Let's think about these others. Que vimos al final de la clase de ayer y ya casi comenzamos lo demás. Recordemos. Mm -hmm. Every day, every day tiene una forma de decirse. Ok. ¿Cómo se dice every day? Daily. Diariamente. Daily. Ok. Diariamente. Ok. Every day. Daily. Daily. Every week. Weekly. Weekly. Yes. Every month. Monthly. Monthly. Every year. Yearly. Yearly. Every hour. 
hourly. Hourly. Ya si queremos decir every minute, no existe minutely. Ok, no, esa no, ya no existe, entonces every minute. Pero son muy pocas cosas las que se hacen cada minuto, ok. Yo creo que solo el verbo molestar, verdad, podría caber en every minute. This is just joking. Maybe there is something else, but I just think about that, ok. So, sometimes I like to think out of the box. Ok, then. Our hourly. So let's see some examples. Let's see some examples just to remember. Veamos el primer ejemplo utilizando ya estas frases. ¿Cómo se usarían estas frases? Okay. ¿En qué momento toman sentido? Vamos a ver. The company sells a million products daily. The company sells a million products daily daily can you imagine it's a very big company right they have a very big production large production how do you say sales in english sales in spanish in, in spanish vende vende oh mm -hmm. thank you okay i read two books monthly how many mm. books do you read <coughs> How many, <laughs> how many books do you read in a month? I read three books. I read two books. Yearly. Yearly? Yearly? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So I read two books monthly. That's healthy, they say, for our uh, mental health and for culture. I read yeah for culture it's not real maybe but yeah i read two books monthly now let's read the next one my wife visits her relatives yearly yeah. my wife visits her relatives yearly cada año verdad ella visita a sus familiares. Yearly se traduciría como anualmente. Ok. Oh. Monthly, mensualmente. Daily, a diario. Ok. Hourly, oramente no se puede decir, ¿verdad? Entonces sería como cada hora. ¿ya? Monthly, mm, <coughs> dijimos eh, mensualmente. Weekly, semanalmente. Ok, o semanal, semanal, porque pueden, estos en un momento pueden convertirse en un adjetivo y probablemente lo podamos ver en algún ejemplo de estos. Ya les voy a mostrar cómo. The app changes your user code hourly. The app changes your user code hourly. Usually the bank's apps use this, right? When you are going to do a transaction and some applications, they are changing a code. This is to authorize each transaction, right? So the app changes your user code hourly. Now, next one. The bank updates the savings account balance monthly. Monthly. Okay. Vamos a la siguiente. Dominic has a meeting with the manager weekly okay dominique has a meeting with the manager weekly vámonos entonces de regreso al manual en el manual tenemos on page number 10 we have some things to talk okay Gonna do it in a basic way. In a basic. Okay. There we got it. Veamos esta actividad. Vamos a utilizar la frase on Mondays. Okay. On Mondays. En este cuadrito que tenemos acá, tenemos que agregar dos actividades de nuestro trabajo, oh. ¿ok? Tenemos que agregar dos actividades de nuestro trabajo. 
veamos cuáles actividades tenemos por acá. Vamos a ver. Um, vamos a ver. Rebeca. Rebeca, ¿está por ahí? ¿Puede leer estas actividades, por favor? Eh, la número uno. Yes, please. Eh, check my email. Check. Check my email. La otra cosa sería. Ok, check. No checking. Ahí no dice no. checking, dice check. 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 check my email. Check my email. Ok. Ahora lo vamos a armar. Thank you very much, Rebeca. Ahora lo vamos a armar como una oración. Ok. ¿Cómo lo vamos a armar como una oración? Esta frase, on Mondays, puede ir al principio de la oración o puede ir al final de la oración. En este momento vamos a practicarlo al principio de la oración. Ok. On Mondays, I check my email. Ok. Vamos a ver, Rebeca, otra vez. On Mondays. Okay. On Monday, I check my email. My email. Ok. There you go. Vamos a ver, Marianne. Number two. Haciéndolo como una oración. Ok. On Monday, I type a letter. Type a letter. Type a letter. Type a letter. Okay. Number three. Number three. Oh, thank you very much. Go ahead, please. Say it for everybody. On Mondays, I. Alguien lo estaba diciendo, pero no tiene quién porque pum, se cambió. A ver, vamos a ver. Um, Go I ahead. Answer. Go ahead. Uh, on Monday, I write report. I write, write a report. Write, write a report. Excellent. It's report, report. Okay, report. 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 There you go. Now, report. Report. Mm -hmm. Carmen, please, number four. As a sentence. On, mon on Monday, on Monday, I attend a meeting. Thank you very, very much. Uh, let's see. Ulises, please, number five. On Mondays, I call clients. Very good. Uh, number six, Henry, please. On Monday, I read a report. Very good. Now, um, Isidro, number seven. No tengo abierto el archivo. Ok. No lo, no lo, no lo visualiza. Ok. Vamos no. a ver. Wendy Maricela, number seven. On Monday, I visit clients. I visit clients. 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 Mm -hmm. Excelente. Acordémonos que estamos diciendo que es todos los lunes, entonces tiene que sonar esta letra S. On Mondays, I visit clients. Ok. Next. Kelly Maricela, please, number eight. On Monday, I organize meeting. Ok. On Mondays, I organize meetings okay i organize meetings okay vamos a todos abran el, el micrófono y vamos a repetirlas okay todos on mondays i check my email on monday monday i check my email on mondays i type a letter 
Type a letter. 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 Okay, number three. On Mondays, I write a report. On Mondays, On Mondays, I, write Mondays I, write I write a report. I write a report. Okay. Vamos a hacer solo una pequeña observación en esta pronunciación. Es una W con una R al principio. Pero la W en este caso no va a sonar como gr, gr, no. Va a sonar como r, así. R, right. Es prácticamente el, el sonido nada right. más de la R. Right. 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 Write a report. Write a report. Write a report. Number four. On Mondays, I right. attend a report. meeting. Um, on Mondays, I attend a meeting. On Mondays, I attend a meeting. Number five. On Mondays, I call clients. On Mondays, I call clients. Okay. Call clients. Yes. No importa que se oiga como el mercado central ahorita, pero sí necesitamos todos repetirlo, ¿ok? Por favor, todos abramos nuestro micrófono y hagámoslo. Vamos a ver. Number, uh, vamos a repetir, bueno, vamos a pasar a number six. On Mondays, I read a report. Okay. Number seven. On Mondays, I visit clients. On Mondays, I visit clients. Okay. On Mondays, I organize meetings. On Mondays, I organize meetings. Organize, 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 do you take the breakfast or you, do you have breakfast? Search. Search? Search. Uh, let me understand your idea. Let me understand your idea because we have to complete an activity. The activity is the verb and the, in, in this case, some complement like a noun or something. Uh, the machine. No, pero me decía Henry. Henry was saying, uh, search like going for your lunch, looking for something to eat. Okay, looking. Uh -huh. O sea, yes. le, le pregunto, le pregunto, ¿ok? Uh, entonces, mm, definitivamente yo le pondría have breakfast, ¿ok? Even though if you go to look for something to eat around your job, I think it is have breakfast, okay? Is it okay? Do you agree, Henry? Uh, on Mondays, I have a breakfast. Okay, have breakfast. And where do you eat? Do you eat your breakfast in the place or do you eat your breakfast in the office? In the office, uh, I have breakfast in the office. Okay, I uh, have breakfast we in the office. Be because on Mondays, uh, we have a meetings with the team. Okay, very good. So you attend a meeting, okay? You attend a meeting with your team. Excellent. Very good. So this will be number nine. He has to eat uh, breakfast uh, early on Monday because he has a meeting. Very good. Thank you very much, Henry. Now let's think about another activity. What else do you do on Mondays, guys? I go uh, out teacher? Uh huh. Uh, Tell me. Turn on, turn on, in the com turn on the computer. Okay, very good.
Very good. Thank you very much. Marianne was going to say something. Tell me. Yes, teacher. Uh, say I go. Number, at number work. two. Go. I go at work. Go to work. Okay. Go to work. I go to work. Okay, great. On Mondays, I go to work. En este caso, sure. escuchar on Mondays, uh, permítame un momentito, vamos a solo explicar esto y antes que me vaya la idea. On Mondays, I go to work, suena como que uh, los demás días no va, ¿verdad? Wow. O tiene ese día de trabajo y otro día libre o something like that, ¿ok? But yes, it's, it's good to practice the vocabulary that you know already. Uh, yeah, alguien... Más que todo como para la gente que trabaja remoto y quizás solo los lunes se puede presentar. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, uh, and, uh, you, entonces debería decir, usually go to work. Oh, yes. We, yeah. we are going to talk about those frequency adverbs on Monday, but now, yes, I can tell you that you can use usually. Mm -hmm. You can use usually. Entonces, also. no aplicaría como el ejemplo que nos había dado, como que a veces podía aplicar como on Monday, agregando la S al final, como solo los lunes. No, como no, claro que sí. Ah. Aplica perfecto. Gracias. Muy buen ejemplo, Marian. Es muy buen ejemplo. Ok. Gracias. So, there we go. Now, let's go to activity number five. Okay, let's go to activity number five and let's read the instructions. Um, a volunteer, who wants to read the instructions? ¿Quién quiere leer las instrucciones? Vamos a ver. Sure. Solo uno. Ajá. <laughs> I am sure. Okay, go uh, ahead, Aníbal. Complete the sentence, Bello with one to activity for the from the box okay we're going to use the activities from the last activity so it is complete the sentences below with one activity one of the activities from the box okay let's read vamos a hacerlo todos juntos acá okay vamos a ver Estoy queriendo, ah, es porque tengo abierto esto. Ok, hoy sí, vamos a bajar. Vamos a subir estos. Voy a bajar y después voy a subir eso. A ver, hasta ahí. Here we go. Vamos todos a ver entonces. Number one, and let's read the example. Okay, I call clients every day. Mm, it's a time expression too, right? I call clients every day. I use the company's office. I call clients every day. I use the company's office. Vamos a ver, number two. Let's look at number two. Type a letter, a letter. Our secretary organizes meeting monthly, then she sends them be made. That's a very good sentence. Es una muy buena oración gramaticalmente. Pero vamos a utilizar las actividades que están en este cuadrito para poder completar estas oraciones, ¿ok? Vamos a ver entonces de estas actividades, ¿cuál actividad queda acá? Vamos a ver. Alguien dijo la respuesta al principio, solo escuché al final, or something like that. Type a letter. Oh, a letter. Type a letter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Type a letter. 
Okay. Or secretary type a payroll. Okay, very good. Or secretary. Ajá. Uh -huh. type a letter. Okay. Notemos algo bien importante. Our secretary es tercera persona, right? Entonces, ¿cómo sería la actividad? El verbo. Types. Excellent. Types. Oh, hey. Types. Types. Ajá. Types. Okay. Types. Letters. Yes. Our secretary types a letter. Then she sends them via email. Okay. Ahora, veamos que acá, okay, tenemos este, um, sería un um, eh, posesivo, okay, uh, que es them, them, eh, perdón, es un demostrativo, them, them, them. them. Oh. Ajá. Entonces, si este es them, que es de ellos, ok, esta quizás no la conocían muy bien, uh, pero no. quiere decir que esto es plural, ok. Types, letters. Letters. Types, letters. Yes. Types, Son pequeños letters. detalles que debemos cuidar, ok. Types, Twice. letters. Plural, ya no lleva a, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, number three. I write a report. Twice a day, I, I use my laptop, uh, my laptop computer. computer. Okay, very good. I write a report. Very good. Number four, I have to mm -hmm. attend a meeting. Okay. Every Monday at eight. Very good. Number five. Celia, organize meetings. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And number six, hagámoslo con I una de question. estas. Tell me. Uh, uh, the right is uh, with Hen, 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 ha, with hen, and the the sentence three. I write a report twice a day. Uh huh. Uh, write is use the hen or no? Yes, you use your hand. Yeah. Look, you can say write uh, a report without specifying what's the way you do that. Uh, type, type is more specific that you are doing it in your laptop or in your computer, and you are correct. If here it says, I use my laptop computer, excellent observation. We could, we could say type a report. Yeah, we could say type a report. Ahora, no la tenemos acá como type, por eso pusimos write a report. Okay. Mm, okay, okay. Ajá. O sea que write no especifica con qué, pero normalmente entendemos que es escribir a mano, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay. Who said something? Uh, teacher. Tell me. Uh, number six, uh, Carlos, the visit client on Monday. Okay. A ver, ¿cómo sería este verbo? Um, sería... Visit. Visits, yes. Visits. Uh -huh. Visits clients. 
This is Klein. Klein. On Monday. Okay, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hello, Henry. Tell me. Uh, we we can use tape when when use any cable. Well, can we use type? Is that the verb? Type. 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 Uh huh. When do you say that? Can this... we use that? Aplica cuando se usa cualquier tipo de teclado. Oh, yes, yes. Type it means that you were using a machine to write or to type in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you were doing this. Is verb is a verb or right? Is, uh, okay. uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is a verb or right? Es, es, es escribir en general. Escribir en general, pero pues se entiende que tiene, su, tiene un lápiz, ¿verdad? Para escribir o something. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thanks. there you go. Okay, ¿alguien hizo alguna otra con las actividades 8, 9 y 10? Yes. Tell me. Yeah, yes, number five. Uh -huh. Call, uh, call client. The secretary uh, calls clients. Um, they, uh, sorry, este, twice a day. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Mm. Someone else? Alguien hizo otra? Mm. Okay, there we go. We are going to continue, okay? Now, let's think about the activity we had on the platform, okay? Vamos a irnos a la plataforma y veamos la actividad que habíamos puesto por ahí, que era una pequeña lectura. Do you remember the reading? La, ¿Fueron yes. a verla? Yes. Yo intenté yes. ingresar, pero me tiraba yes. como... Eh, una página diferente. Bueno, intenté ingresar dos veces y las mismas dos veces así me apareció. ¿Quiere? Ok, let me check. No le llevó al blog de Joana. Sí. Ok, en el blog de Joana lo que hay que leer es A Typical Day in My Life. It's like an article, ok. Es algo que ella escribió. Y de ahí es donde uh, hemos sacado esta actividad, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Um, déjeme ver cómo me tira a mí. Vamos a ver. Notes from Joana, right? Here we go. Teacher, T tell me. Eso es en la plataforma en la opción discusión. Exactly. Mm -hmm. oh. Ahorita vamos a ir para allá. Teacher, tell me. Uh, check list, please, teacher. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're right. 
Se quedó trabado con la plataforma acá. Vamos a ver. Solo voy a indicarles en la plataforma en dónde está la actividad y luego tomo la lista para que después, mientras yo estoy tomando la lista, usted logre hacer lo que pueda ingresando, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Sure. Tell me. Here at home. If it is a homework? No, here at home. Oh, you're you're already the, there. Okay, great. You got it. Okay, then you got home. Excellent. Welcome. Okay. Thank um you. we are going to work in this reading, okay? Uh la, la viñeta de discusión está por acá. Miren, ustedes hacen clic aquí en discusión, okay? Entran ahí en ese y les va a desplegar esto. Aquí en All Topics, ustedes le dan clic y les va a aparecer. Y les va a aparecer un. Cuidemos un poquito el audio, vamos a ver. Entonces, aquí en All Topics les va a desplegar las discusiones que hay posteadas, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí les va a aparecer un link que dice A Typical Day in My Life. Abren ese link y aparece esto, ¿ok? Aparece esto. Acá yo les he puesto un link. Click on the link, este link. Vamos a... Cuando ustedes le dan clic ahí, nos lleva al blog de Joana y ahí vamos a leer la rutina de la mañana de Joana. ¿Ok? Y luego de leer eso, completamos las oraciones. Estas oraciones que están acá. ¿Ok? Acuérdense que estamos armando oraciones completas. Sujeto, verbo y complemento, ¿verdad? Estamos viendo actividades diarias, el simple present, el tiempo presente, y estamos viendo eh, time expressions, ¿ok? Todo está ahí. Vamos a ver. Entonces, tenemos eso. Voy a dejar de compartir para que mientras yo tomo la asistencia, usted logre entrar ahí, ¿ok? Hello, teacher. Sorry to be late. Okay, no problem, but welcome. Okay, welcome that you got connected already. Vamos a ver entonces, voy a tomar la asistencia. I will call the roll. Remember that you have to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Aníbal Osmaro Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Germán Enrique González Valeriano. Present. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present. Isidro Ernesto Acosta Maldonado. Present, teacher. José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemos. Present, teacher. José Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Present. Katherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Present. Kelly Maricela Díaz Lozano. Present. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Marian Scarlett. Perdón. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Wendy Lizette Gómez García. Present teacher. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. 
Present. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Hi, teacher. Levi Olivet Cruz Guzmán. Henry Vladimir Ramírez Martínez. Present, teacher. Ok, here we go. Vamos a leer entonces esa rutina de la mañana de Joanna. Ok, Yo, this is from notes from Joanna. Ok, y no lo voy a presentar acá en la pantalla, pero lo vamos a leer. Ok, it says, a typical day in my life. And it says, my morning routine. The alarm goes off at 6.35, so that I have exactly one hour before having to get out of the door after five to 10 minutes laying in bed. I get up and go straight to the bathroom. That's when I start my beauty routine. Cleans my skin with Garnier mis, um, Micellar Water and apply my morning mo moisturizer. La Roche, Posay, Efoclar Duo. <laughs> okay. I then head to the kitchen to have breakfast. Lately, it has been a cup of hot chocolate. Very healthy, I know. <laughs> but I'm not a big fan of coffee. Ahí es un sarcasmo, okay? And a toast. After breakfast, I get ready and do my very minimal makeup that consists of Anastasia Brow Powder Duo and ARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer and L'Oreal False Lash Extensions Mascara. Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Eh, ¿Ya lo habían leído antes? Eh, ¿Ayer lo leyeron? ¿Alguien lo leyó no. este? ¿Alguien leyó este blog? ¿No? Ay. No, Ok, great, Herman. Great. Solo Herman, entonces. Muy bien. La idea es que veamos la rutina de ella. What activities does she do every day? So it means a typical day. But she's talking about a normal weekday. Ok. She's talking about a normal weekday. Está hablando de un día normal de semana. A normal weekday. Ok. Bien. Vamos a ver. Lo vamos a poner así, tal vez así sí, sí lo podemos hacer. Creo que podemos hacerlo así. Sí se mira. A ver, ¿qué es lo que logran visualizar ahí? Todo. El encabezado. A typical day in my life. Okay. A typical day in my life. My life. My okay. Mom. Leamos este, este extracto de este blog. And it says, my morning routine. Okay. No vamos a leer los, los cosméticos que usa. Okay. Solo vamos a leer lo demás. The alarm goes off at 6.35. So that I have exactly one hour before having to get out of the door. After five to 10 minutes laying in bed, I get up and go straight to the bathroom. That's when I start my beauty routine. Cleans my skin with Garnier Micellar Water and apply my morning moisturizer, La Roche Posay Claire Du. I then head to the kitchen to have breakfast. Lately, it has been a cup of hot chocolate very healthy i know but i'm not a big fan of coffee and a toast after breakfast i get ready and do my very minimal makeup that consists of anastasia bro powder duo and our nars radiant creamy concealer and l'oreal full slush extensions mascara okay she's talking about her makeup Okay, with those products. Those are beauty products. Okay, bien. Ya lo hemos leído. Is there any question so far about the vocabulary that she's using? ¿Alguna pregunta del vocabulario que usa? Okay. 
A ver, ahora voy a hacer entonces. Tell me. For me, uh, for example, the name for product. Okay, the name of the products. Even okay. us, even us women don't know about it because we use other trademarks, okay? Usamos otras marcas, ¿verdad? Eh, no se preocupe por eso, eso no es significativo en este caso para una rutina de la mañana. Lo que sí es significativo serían las actividades. A ver, identifiquemos qué actividades hace ella. What does she do every morning? Let's read. Uh -huh. The alarm. Okay, that's a very good activity, even though it, it doesn't do it. I mean, she doesn't do it. The clock doesn't, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And after five to ten minutes, laying in the bed, in bed. Okay, she's still in bed. So she wakes up. Okay, she wakes up. Very good. Si no me equivoco, sister, eh, that's when is star beauty routine. The beauty routine, yes, that's when she starts. When, when she is in the bathroom, okay? When she's in the bathroom, she starts the beauty routine. Uh -huh. Las actividades que ya hemos visto y que conocemos serían I get up, okay, I get up and go straight to the bathroom. Two activities. Uh -huh. What else? Have breakfast, like, right? She likes hot chocolate. Uh, yes, hot chocolate. Uh -huh. Does she like coffee? Mm, I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Bien, entonces, vamos a completar las oraciones para ubicarnos un poco cuál es la rutina de ella. Okay? Y voy a dejar de compartir acá. I will stop sharing and I will share this other screen. One second. One second. Perdón, podrían poner mute, por favor, en los micrófonos. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. This is the activity. Okay, complete the sentence according to Joanna's blog. ¿Lo tienen a la vista? ¿Lo tienen a la vista el, el de Joanna? Okay, number one. Number one. ¿Cómo sería la número uno? Completemos esa oración. The color the glass of us of goes off. One second, one that. second. Something happened. Oh my god. One second, one second. Here we go. 
No parece, no parece. Here it goes. Okay. Goes off. The, the alarm uh, goes off at mm -hmm. the alarm goes off at the six thirty five. Six thirty five. Okay. AM. 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 Yes. AM. Okay. Number two. I get up. I grab. Mm-hmm. And go straight. I grab. Um, go straight to bedroom. I grab. I grab. I grab. Go straight. Okay, and I go straight to the bathroom, even though it doesn't say I. Uh, go straight significa in, así, directo, directo al baño. O sea, me levanto y me voy directo al baño. So I get up and go straight to the bathroom. Okay. Number three. I, I, I then. Here to the kitchen to have the breakfast. To have. What did you say? I'm sorry. I. I then. I then. I then do the kitchen. I have a. I then hit. I then have. Yeah. Okay, that's a very good verb. Pongamos la atención a ese verbo. Head. Head. Head significa me dirijo. Okay. Uh, head es que apunto para allá. Have, okay. I head. Have to the kitchen mm -hmm. to have breakfast. 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 Excellent. To have breakfast. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number four. I get ready. I get ready. Okay. I I get really and do, I get really and do, and do my very minimal makeup. Excellent. My very minimal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Así como bien poquito, solo lo básico, ¿verdad? Okay. Mm -hmm. Number five. So, I usually get out. Get out of the house. Of the house. Get out of the house. Uh -huh. Around. Around. Seven. Yes. Around. 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 Seven four. Seven forty. Seven forty. A ver, get out. Get out es un verbo que nosotros ahorita hemos aprendido una frase un poco eh, más corta, verdad? Que decimos I live home. I live. Home. Okay, I get out of the house. Es como bien completa la frase larga, ¿verdad? Entonces, algo más corto y más de todos los días. I leave home. Okay. Bien. So, now we have this exercise complete. Okay. Y ahora vamos a ver un poco acerca de how much and how many. Do you know about how much and how many? Ya han escuchado de how much and how many. ¿Qué saben de how much or how many? Tell me. ¿Para qué se usan? What do we use those for? ¿Han escuchado esa frase? El precio. Para preguntar el precio de algún artículo o de algún bien. Very good. Uh -huh. When we ask for the price. Very good. Uh -huh. That's when we use how much. Excellent. Mm -hmm. What about how, how many? When do we use how many? Uh -huh. Por ahí oí una palabra buena. Si no me, si no me equivoco, how many is cuando no se puede cuantificar. Ajá, uh -huh. ese es el detalle. How many, sí se puede. 
Ok, how many es para los que sí podemos contar y how much es para las cosas incontables o que no podemos contarlas como una, dos, tres, right? So, uh, let's start by saying, by saying, uh, two questions, okay? Two questions. This is just to visualize how to use how many and how much. So let's talk about the days that you work, okay? Your work days. We are gonna see this. Tengamos cuidado ahí con nuestro audio, por favor. Vamos a hacer una pequeña preguntita, ¿ok? Y vamos a pensar. Here we go. Oh, I see. Here we have this question. How many days do you have in your vacations? Do you have vacations in your job? Do you have vacations? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. How many days do you have in your vacation? How many days do you have in your vacations. A ver, pensemos. Pensemos. This month to today. Uh -huh. Two days a month? In this month, today. Oh, those are kind of holidays, right? Los feriados que hay, ¿verdad? Right. Está el dos y está el diez. Okay, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Ahora, pero estamos hablando así como de las vacaciones que ustedes tienen como una prestación laboral, like a perk, okay? Entonces, how many days do you have vacations in your jobs? Yes. ¿Tienen vacaciones? Do you have vacations? Yes, yes. I, yes. yes, I do. Yes, I do. Teacher. Okay. Yes, I do. So, how yes, many I days? I have, I have 12 days uh, per year. 12 days. Okay. Very good. 12 days. 12 days. I will write that. Okay. Because it's very important. 12 days. Uh, teacher? Mm hmm. Starting vacation in Monday, in Monday, and, and regresar, ¿cómo se dice? Perdón, go este, back, go oh, back. Go back, uh, go back, go, go back in, in 50, 50, um, uh -huh. 20, um, 15. 
How many days? 15 days. Oh. Oh, uh, starting vacation in Monday and on uh, Monday? Three, on Monday, uh, three Monday. Uh, no, on Monday the third. For, uh, Monday the first. Uh -huh, yeah, the, the first. Ah, the first. Okay. And go back. Go back in in 50, 80, 90, uh, 90, uh, see? Yes, uh, 19, 19, 19, okay. 19, go back and the work. Go back to work. Okay, so we, we are work. talking oh. that you have vacations, 15 business days, okay? 15 business days. You don't count the weekends, okay? 15 Business days significa días hábiles, ¿ok? Yes. Oh. Business days significa días hábiles. O sea que no entran los días que no se trabajan, como decir eh, los fines de semana, the weekends, ¿ok? Pero veamos aquí lo importante, es que veamos que how many lo usamos con days porque los podemos contar, ¿ok? We can say one day, two days, three days, four days, etc., until 30 days that there are in a month. But we can talk about the 365 year, uh, uh, days in a year, right? So yes, we can count the days. Entonces, vamos a utilizar how many with words like days, que son nombres contables, okay? Son nombres contables. Bien, ahí tenemos una... Eh, pregunta de ejemplo, ¿ok? ¿Cómo usamos how many? Ah, con palabras o nombres que podemos contar. Ok, how many days do you have in your vacations? I have 12 days a year, ¿ok? I have 12 days a year. I have 15 business days a year, ¿ok? So, we can say this answer in a complete sentence. I have 12 days a year, okay? Vamos a ver entonces, voy a hacer la pregunta. Marianne, how many days do you have in your vacations? Uh, I five a day. I have uh, days a year. Okay, I have I have uh -huh. 15 day a year. days a year. Are they business days or they are no regular days? Uh, business days. Business days. O sea que no le cuentan los fines de semana. Prácticamente son como unos 20 días. O si cuenta, mm. o va incluido ahí los, el sábado day. y el domingo. Ok, then it will be regular days. Ok, regular days ah. instead of business days. Very good, very good. A ver. Voy a hacer la otra pregunta y nos vamos a ir a un ejercicio. Ok, la otra pregunta para que veamos el ejemplo de cómo se usa. How much? Ok. How much do you earn monthly? Este verbo earn es ganar, ¿ok? Ganar. Ganar lo que le pagan a usted por un trabajo. Earn, ¿ok? Earn. So, how much do you earn monthly? Uh -huh. How much do you earn monthly? Normalmente esta es una pregunta como incómoda, que no queremos decir cuánto, y hasta en las encuestas ponen un rango, ¿verdad? Ponen un rango Not para enough. que no digan exacto, ¿verdad? Hasta con los centavitos y todo, digo, ay, yo gano bien poquito, ay, 
ay, pero este gana un montón, ¿verdad? no, o sea, yo sé que esta es una pregunta incómoda, pero estamos visualizando, ok, what do you earn, what do you earn, you earn money, ok, you earn money, en esta pregunta estamos indagando, ¿Qué? Dinero, una cantidad de dinero. Yes, yes, cantidad de dinero. It's an amount of money. So, money is a noun that we cannot count. So, it's an uncountable noun, okay? An uncountable noun. So, how much do you earn monthly? Uh, then I can say, I earn $400 monthly. Okay, I earn mm, $500 monthly, okay? Yo puedo decir eso, right? Or every 15 days, yeah? Every 15 days, then I earn $200, $500, a hundred, I mean, a thousand dollars. So we're expecting for an amount of money. How much do you earn monthly? Well, money is an uncountable noun, so we are going to use how much, okay? How much. Bien, vámonos para el manual. Let's go to our manuals. Vamos a saltar unas páginas que veremos el día lunes, okay? Porque el día lunes y el martes serán para continuar el repaso, okay? Y vamos a ver ahorita... Okay, here it goes. Page 14. Oh, page 14. 14s. Yes, page 14 and your manuals. Number number two. Yes, activity number two. Let me share this for you. We have a conversation there, okay? We have a conversation. En esta conversación, okay? En esta conversación encontramos algo muy importante, okay? Very important. Que son... Um, benefits or perks that you receive in your work or uh, for doing your job, okay? That the company offers. Como decir los beneficios eh, que la compañía le ofrece, okay? Como un empleado, ¿verdad? ¿A qué tiene usted derecho? A vacaciones pagadas, ¿qué más? Un seguro médico, ¿qué más podría ser todo eso? Um, eh, seguro dental en los Estados Unidos tienen que hacerlo como separado, ¿verdad? Esa, esa beneficio, ¿ok? Bonus. So, bonus. bonus, exactly, bonus uh, for uh, getting goals, ¿ok? For getting goals, you get a, bon a bonus. Yeah, extra hours. Comisiones. No sé. Commissions, ¿ok? Comisiones. Yes, commissions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, then you can have things that they are not money, exactly money, but they are benefits too, okay? In this case, you're talking about the paid vacations and other perks. So let's read this. Let's read this. And it says, Ruth and Josh. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay, ahora lo voy a leer muy despacio, okay? Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. Okay. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. 
How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than $600. Okay. Is there any questions so far about the vocabulary in this conversation? Do you have questions? What do you say? Bonus? Vacation? Vacations? Vacation? Las vacaciones. Bonus? Yes, bonus, bonus is a pay. bonus. Pay. Okay, I will say bonus is extra money that you receive for getting a goal, for example, como por alcanzar una meta, le dan un bono, okay? O otros tipos de bonos también, ¿verdad? Por asistir todos los días, por saber inglés, okay? Hay bonus o dinero extra, ¿verdad? Bien, vamos a ver. Pay, pagadas. Pagadas. Pay. But each, each. But each, pero cada bono, but each bonus. Ajá, pero cada bono. Are we okay? Okay, vamos a escuchar entonces a Juan y a... Perdón, yo cuando digo vamos a escuchar a como que todos se me esconden. Vamos a ver, no me apaguen la cámara, vamos a ver, no me dejen solita. <risa> vamos a ver. José Arnoldo, vamos a ver. Ok. Juan y José Arnoldo, please role play. Juan sea Ruth y José Arnoldo sea Josh. Ok. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. You have vacation at your job. Yes, I do. Ruth, what about you? Me too, I have five vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Ready day, ready days, at to bed, at to bed, except on hot money, Busney, do you have? Acá no sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Per, per year. Per year. Per year. Per year. Per year. Per year. Ruth. Uh -huh. I have four bonus. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just. One bus year bonus in four more days. Uh, acá six sería hundred. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Excellent, José Arnoldo. Ok, vamos, ok, vamos entonces solamente a verificar algunas pronunciaciones y nos vamos a irlo a practicar en el breakout room y luego del breakout room, ok, vamos a hacer nada más el fig figure it out, ok, allá en el breakout room, pero primero vamos a ver algunas pronunciaciones, ok, uh, este sería paid vacations, paid vacations, okay. Everybody, paid please vacation. repeat. Paid vacation. Paid vacation. Paid vacation. Paid vacation. Paid vacation. 
vacation. El tip para pronunciar bien es abrir la boca, ¿ok? Abran la boca para poder pronunciar, ¿ok? Al principio... How do you say it? Pear. 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 Vacation. En español. Vacation. Por. Ah, por vacación. Por. Carmen, por. Por Thank año. You. Ok, so, there we go. Vamos a la siguiente. O, o estaba diciendo paid. Paid vacation. Carmen. Paid vacation. A ver. Per, ¿se pronuncia así? De sí. Por. Eh, sí, estamos hablando en la parte donde dice how many bonuses do you have per year. Ahí tenemos per. No. En donde per estamos year. pronunciando, sí, ese es por año. Per year es ese por es año. Per. Así se pronuncia, pero. Per. Ok, uh -huh. esa era yeah. la Thank you. Ok, there you go. Per. So, paid, paid vacations. Todos abriendo bien la boca. Paid vacations. Paid Air vacations. Paid vacations. Paid Paid vacations. 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 How about you? 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 Oh, ok, ahora esta otra palabra, bonuses, es plural, bonuses. Solo uno es bonus, 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 bonus. Everybody. One bonus. One bonus. One bonus. Plural bonuses. Plural bonuses. 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 Ok. ¿Hay alguna otra palabra que tengan problema la, la pronunciación? No. No? Ok, nos vamos entonces al breakout room a practicar la conversacioncita. Ok, solo hacen una vez y luego switch roles and then you come back. Ok, una vez, luego switch roles, cambian de papel y luego regresan. Ok, let's go. Uh, vamos okay. a hacer el figure it out. De una sola vez, el figure it out, I'm sorry. Se me había olvidado, el figure it out. Solo son dos cositas que hay que... Hacer un circulito. Y ya lo sabemos. <risa> Vamos a ver. Uh, solo una preguntita. Sí, Alma. Alma está en... Ok. ¿Y quién fue el otro que me dijo que estaba como oyente ahorita? Creo que era Katherine. No. No. ¿No? No, no, teacher. Okay. Era, era yo teacher, era yo teacher oh, pero porque okay. venía de camino. Ok, ok. Rebeca, dígame. Teacher, pero voy de camino, pero oh, igual si gusta okay. me puede poner con alguien, no importa. Oh, ok, ok. Teacher. Tell me. How do you say pay in, in Spanish? Pay. What word? Pay. Pay. Paid. Paid es pagadas. Oh. Mm. Uh, so, uh, um, um, yeah, can you spell out, that? Figure out. Figure out. And number three, figure out. And, and 
Number one. Oh, um, pay. How pay. much do you pay? Pay you, es pagar. Uh, pay. Oh. Okay. Thanks, teacher. There you go. Thank you. So now, guys, we are going to our to the break of rooms to practice and do the figure it out. Okay. Ya hoy ya estamos todos, verdad? Ya no tenemos eh, impedimento. Vamos. Gen C? Gen C, uh, tiene que unirse a el grupo pequeño. Por favor, puede presionar ahí para poder incorporarse. Gen C? Too. I, I, how much do you receive? I have to do, but this bonus is for more than five, six hundred, six hundred dollars. <laughs> Six and ah, sorry. Si gusta empezamos. De nuevo. Empezaría usted. Hey Jules, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your home? Yes. Hi teacher. Hello, Henry. Hello, Juan. Hello, Herman. Hello, teacher. Okay. Did you finish already? Did you finish yet? Yeah. Yes, yes teacher. Thank you. Finish. And I was still trying to share the picture. <laughs> yeah. A veces los sistemas, ¿verdad? Se ponen como en contra cabal en el momento en que uno quiere hacer todo. <laughs> Siempre pasa. But we are prepared, okay? And the show must continue. <laughs> okay, guys. Mm. 
mientras se van uniendo todos, empiecen a pensar alrededor de ustedes. What things do you have around yourselves? For example, around in your houses, maybe in your desk. Okay, things, objects. Piensen en objetos, en cosas que están viendo alrededor de ustedes. Okay. Teacher, what do you say? Curiosidad? Uh, curiosity? Curiosity. Yeah, curiosidad is cu curiosity. Curiosity. Curios curiosity. Yeah, but something curious. can be curious. Okay, curious. Teacher, what do you, is correct? Mm. For curiosity, uh, the same, no. Something funny? Mm -hmm. Algo extraño, algo, permítanme que Ulises me está solicitando entrar a su sala. Ya regreso, ¿ok? Ulises. Sí. sí. Pero no entró sí. la persona que estaba practicando con usted. Yo vi que sí estaban trabajando. Sí, 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 entró, pero como que... Perdió señal y se desconectó. Oh, ok. Thank you, Ulises. Vámonos de regreso al main room. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver. Entonces, Henry y Ulises, veamos, porque Ulises no pudo terminar su actividad y luego platicamos de su pregunta, Henry. Vamos a ver, ayúdemele a Ulises. Eh, Henry sería Ruth y Ulises sería Josh. Ok. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Many days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Chris? I have four bonuses. What about you and how much do you receive? I have just two. But the bonus is for more than $600. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let's think about the two questions we have here. What is correct? How much or how many? And number one. Everybody? Anybody? How much? 
<laughs> How much? Because we are talking about money, right? Okay, and number two, what is correct? How much or how many? How many? How many? Okay, there you go. Ahora vamos todos a pensar alrededor de nosotros qué cosas tenemos, qué cosas estamos viendo y pensemos qué cosas sí se pueden contar y qué cosas no se pueden contar. Tratemos de ahorita sacar de nuestro cerebro todo el vocabulario que sepamos de las cosas que están alrededor nuestro, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Okay, there we go. Okay, are you guys ready? Vamos a preguntar. Three things. Three things that are countable. So let's think, um, let's ask Herman. Can you tell me the things that you are looking at? Or you have around? Uh, uh, laptop. Okay. Mm -hmm. laptop. Laptop is content. Eh, for example, eh, books, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and eh, airport, mm -hmm. and eh, smartphone. Okay, books. Oh, vamos a hacerlo con. Um. Okay, here we go. Aha. Continúe, continúe. Eh, eh. Uh -huh. Tap, tap, box, eh, es, airport, eh. uh -huh. Thank you. Eh. Thank you very much. Ulises. Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, just so, un minuto a la dije. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for letting me know. <laughs> yeah. Estaba viendo ese minuto al máximo, vamos a ver. Ok, entonces, existen nombres que podemos contar y nombres que no podemos contar, ok. Uh, money es un nombre no contable, ¿verdad? Money es un nombre no contable. ¿Qué otras cosas pueden decir así rapidito que no sean contables? Eh, hair. Hair. Can you count the hair? Pueden contar el pelo, el cabello? No. no. But you can count a hair. Yo, you can count one hair. Sand. Si, si le cae un pelo en la sopa, usted dice uh, que hay un pelo, right? Can you count it? Sand. Ah, got you guys. Sometimes it is not countable and sometimes it is countable. Thank you very much. Sand, yes. And the beach is not countable. Water, water is not water countable. Rain, rain drops. Right? The raindrops, yes. Cool. Even though, even though I can so count the one lake, drop, right? The lake, mm -hmm. teacher. The lake, Lake Quatepec. Lake, can you count lakes? Yes, I can count one lake, two lakes. Yeah. How many yeah. lakes are there in oh. El Salvador, right? Oh, How wow. many parks are there in El Salvador? How many parks are there in your city, right? Okay, so yes, you can count lakes. Lo oh. que no puede contar es el agua en el lago, right? The water oh. in the lake, you cannot count it. You can la measure arena. it, lo puede medir, pero no la puede contar. Right? Okay, then uh -huh. just let me. The clouds. The clouds. Mm -hmm. clouds. Clouds are countable. 
clouds are countable because we can say one cloud, mm. we can say two clouds. Que no las podemos contar porque realmente son incontables para nosotros es otro concepto. Ok. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Como las estrellas. The stars. Sí. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Like the stars. Mm -hmm. We can count one, two, three, four stars, but we cannot have a number for all the stars that exist. Okay. So that's the difference between the concepts. Mm -hmm. Ok, bien, vamos a continuar este tema el día lunes y voy a postear el día de hoy unos links. Uno se los voy a pasar por el WhatsApp para que ustedes puedan ir y hacer esos ejercicios y ubicarse qué nombres son contables, qué nombres son incontables. Y voy a enviar una, una worksheet, una hoja de trabajo que está online de otro sitio, pero eh, donde ustedes pueden practicar. Ok, donde ustedes pueden practicar las, porque tenemos el fin de semana para hacerlo, ¿verdad? Bueno, algunos. Thanks, yeah. teacher. Thanks, teacher. Ok, there you go. Y you, eh, siempre estén pendientes que se postea también discussions. La cosa es que usted oh. siempre esté pensando, ¿verdad? En inglés. Bien, let me, okay. let me call the roll. Remember what's the requirement to turn on your cameras. And say present when I call your name. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Present. Aníbal Osmaro Hernández Murcia. Present. Georgina Beatriz Saldaña de Guzmán. Mm, bueno, no estuvo Georgina el día de hoy. Queda available. A, en este caso le tocaría a Germán la siguiente sesión uno a uno. Eh, ¿Se quiere quedar usted, Germán? Oh, ok. Ok, entonces eh, se queda hoy Germán y si, el, bueno, el día lunes entonces le tocaría a Henry Alberto. Ok, Henry Alberto se quedaría el día lunes, puede preparar sus preguntas para ese día, ok. Bien, vamos a ver. Continúo. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Presente. Eh, y Ciro Ernesto Costa Maldonado. José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemus. Present teacher. José Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Here teacher. Catherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Present teacher. Kelly Marisela Díaz Lozano. Present. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Manuel. Okay. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Wendy Lizette Gómez García. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present Ok, Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Present. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Good night. Ok. Lady Jolivet Cruz Guzmán. Henry Vladimir Ramírez Martínez. Present. Acuérdense de hacer hasta la tarea número 3 el día de hoy. Ok. Tiene que estar subido el día de hoy, que es viernes. Ok. Hasta la número 3. Ok, tres. teacher. Ok, then see you guys. Have a very good weekend and take your own rest. Ok. Have a good rest. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye, bye teacher. Good night. Okay, have a very good, good night. night teacher. Good night. Hi, teacher. Hi, Herman. ¿Cómo está? Mm, I'm busy. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I see that you're still working, right? Are you still working? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have uh, just one give me project. one just give me one second because we have Wendy still connected. Okay. okay. And Wendy. Maybe wow. it's only hand, right? Okay, there she is. She's gone. Okay, now tell me, Herman. Este es su tiempo. Dígame. Tell me how can I help you? Do you have any question? Uh, I don't have any question. Uh, I, I, 
entiendo un, un poco de más o menos cuando eh, cuando habla por, por ejemplo eh, eh, my daily routine is practice in app for for learning English for example Duolingo and and sound and usually I a YouTube video eh, I I listen podcast Duolingo and and I I like read in English but I don't understand all and, and for me it's very important learn English because I I I have a plan of or or goal. Yeah, my goal. No sé si un meta o algo así. Yeah, goal. Mm -hmm. Goal in my life. Eh, in, for example, eh, this year, I I try change my work because eh, I need work remote. Eh, now I I I working my work. And Pollo Real, and a AT coordinator or coordinator IT. Okay. And but I, I, I went or I, I, what do I say? I don't have more opportunity this work. Oh, okay. Be okay. You want to grow. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You grow because I, I, I have new responsibility. For example, my dad work. My dad work, and 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 I wanna, I wanna have a best life. Or, yes, a best salary. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. I working a that my profession. For example, a. My daily routine, the world is resolve problem. And don't, don't, without, without our, you know, for example, uh, the restaurant need, need me, he called me every time. Mm -hmm. 6 a.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m. So you have yeah. no schedule. It's not fixed. It's not no. fixed. Okay. No fixed thing. I have be responsible because uh, uh, the leader, or, uh, this the manager, this department. department. Uh, so are you the manager? But, you yes, said that you yes. coordinate all that uh, area. Yes. Uh, uh, Jose Arnoldo is my uh, my college or my partner in the okay. world. Colleague, colleague, colleague. Colleague. Uh -huh. I call, call in the world. Uh, he is my auxiliar in the world. And, and I prepare for the future for 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 him or for no oh. no second. Okay, so you are teaching him, you are preparing him to uh, um, to give him your job, your position, your job yes. position. Okay. I, mm -hmm. For me, I want I want another be be manager. Okay, so you are looking for a new job. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's very important for you to learn English or to improve your English. I see that you have a lot of vocabulary. Um, you know a lot of words, right? In English, you have a lot of vocabulary. What you have to do is just to practice as you are doing right now. I see that you are not afraid of speaking, so do it. You are doing a very good job. You are very, uh, your English maybe is not, um, complete at the moment, but you are going to be building the vocabulary and also the grammar to express yourself. Uh, remember that the expressions, expressions never change. Las expresiones, si usted aprende las expresiones, no cambia. Si aprende palabra por palabra, no va a saber en dónde ubicarla, 
Ok, entonces mi consejo o mi tip, ¿verdad? Es que usted se ubique, por ejemplo, si vemos una pregunta acá, así úsela. Ok, úsela, úsela porque ya la aprendió y es la forma en que todos hablamos. Por ejemplo, fíjese, eh, yo he visto que muchos tienen como un temorcito, ¿verdad? Y, y de decir, what's your name? Pero esa es la pregunta que todo mundo va a hacer. ¿Por qué quiero cambiar lo que es ya así como una expresión, verdad? Entonces, eh, usted está haciendo un muy buen trabajo. You are doing a very good job because you are... Um, eh, you are not afraid to speak and that's very good ok, that's a point in your favor right, es como un punto a su favor, que no tiene miedo de hablarlo y eso es bueno, ok yes, I'm scared are you? Por, yes, uh, por ejemplo uh, when I when I have to speak with other people I I, I, I scared but but I try uh, uh, delete this problem. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. my, problem, my, my problem or my scare is, uh, is uh, my, my mistake of people. But like everybody other. makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Lo que pasa uh -huh. es que nosotros tenemos la, la cultura de que los demás se ríen, ¿verdad? De nosotros. Ah, oh, este cree que está hablando inglés y todo. Pero en realmente, y eso nos ha marcado, fíjese, eso nos ha marcado. Entonces hay que luchar contra eso para que... Eso es lo que tienen los gringos, que ellos, aunque no se... Le dicen a uno, yo hablo español, they say, right? And then, a ver, dígame algo. Hola. Y solo eso pueden decir, pero ellos hablan español. Why can't sí. we do that? ¿Por qué no podemos hacer eso nosotros, verdad? Y lo que sí. pasa es que a nosotros nos da pena. Y, por, por ejemplo, eh, when, when I, I scare for mistake, uh, I think uh, a picture. Por eso, uh, the picture say... Uh, que cuando uno está aprendiendo, no se está equivocando, está aprendiendo. Entonces, eh, trato de recordar siempre esa imagen de que, de que mientras uno está aprendiendo, no se equivoca, solamente está aprendiendo. Good. I will take it. La voy a agarrar también esa, esa frase. Mm -hmm. That's very okay. important. Yes. Yes. ¿Y cómo se siente en la clase? How do you feel in this class? Eh, the fear. I'm sorry, teacher, because I, I, I don't very pay attention in the class because I, I, I'm busy and because other activities. For example, uh, I dinner, uh, I feed my dog, uh, I work in project for my com or company, and uh, uh, sometimes. Okay. Pero no cosas. Eh, y en the other, and the other reason is eh, I am tired sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ok, pero sí quiero recordarle pues que este es un horario muy valioso. Es un beneficio en el que usted puede eh, aprovechar. Sáquele jugo, sáquele el mayor provecho a este tiempo. Solo son 120 minutos. ¿Verdad? En donde usted eh, va a poder mejorar su inglés si lo practica. O sea, si al momento de estar en la clase estamos en las actividades que, que realizamos. Porque si no, va a pasar este módulo y va a quedar siempre con la deficiencia, ¿verdad? Eh, porque puede ser que usted le pone empeño a las tareas, a las cosas de leer, a las cosas de escribir, pero no al hablar. ¿Verdad? O no a escuchar, que son dos partes muy importantes, son prácticamente la base, como les decía yo ayer, ¿verdad? Les decía, primero aprendemos escuchando y luego imitamos hablando, ¿verdad? haciéndolo nosotros. Entonces esa es como la forma natural de aprendizaje y es importante que eh, estos 120 minutitos usted los dedique a participar en toda la actividad, ¿verdad? Toda la clase para que no quede con deficiencia, ¿ok? I try, I try participation. 
Yes. But but sometimes is uh, more, more bastante digamos much people participation. But entonces eh, a veces siento de que cuando cuando se habla así bastante quieren participar entonces no me gusta quizás también eh, quitarle la oportunidad a los demás compañeros que también participan y otra cosa que, eh, que a veces siento que me confundo es cuando se activa el micrófono y, y, y todos practican entonces yo lo que hago es lo, mutear el micrófono pero siempre practicar pero que no interrumpir de a veces uno por ejemplo la vez pasada a nosotros en una capacitación nos ponían como por ejemplo que todos habláramos al mismo tiempo digamos, eh, al final digamos, cuesta concentrarse porque lo que dice la otra persona confunde un poco sí, yo comprendo eso comprendo mm. eso, este, trato al máximo de no hacer eso pero mm. entre todo eh, siempre hay una vocecita por ahí que resulta equivocada, ¿verdad? Entonces se identifica y se corrige por eso es que, es que lo hago de esa manera eh, yeah, la I... otra forma eh, que no la he hecho en estas dos clases es que eh, ya digo, ¿verdad? Todos va, empieza, eh, qué sé yo, digo un nombre y entonces después solo digo el nombre y lo repite. Dice el nombre y lo repite, ¿ok? Pero son 22 personas, entonces hay que tener esa paciencita, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, hay pero sí, con todo gusto, en lo que yo le pueda servir, eh, tenemos el WhatsApp para que usted pueda eh, hacer sus preguntas. En la plataforma están las discusiones para practicar. Tenemos el manual. En el manual hay links para actividades que usted puede hacer y practicar también. Hay videos que mandamos nosotros como teachers en el WhatsApp. Eh, mandamos links para que hagan práctica, ¿verdad? Entonces nosotros tratamos de que eh, ustedes practiquen al máximo, ¿verdad? Yo sé que el tiempo de ustedes pues va limitado, pero eh, si en cada momento libre que tiene, usted hace una pequeña actividad, se va quedando, se va quedando, ¿ok? El, la lectura me gustó bastante, digamos, la, 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 la que compartió, la, realmente yo pensé que iba a ser algo corto, ¿va? pero sí siento que es algo así bien estructurada la, la lectura, pero eh, nos ayuda así a, a tener nuevo, nuevo vocabulario, ¿va? Que, que, que de eso se trata, de, de, de adquirir lo, de lo mayor que se pueda en vocabulario. Y, y esas son y, lecturas en la vida real. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Real life. Yes. Eh, hasta comentarios hay. Entonces, me parece bastante interesante este blog de, de, de Joana. Joana. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y ahí puede aprender mucho del everyday English. Ok. Uh -huh. Más teacher. Very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you for listening. Ok. Okay, my pleasure. Then see you on Monday and remember to do your homework. Okay, have a very good night, Herman. I had nice week. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye. See you. Okay. Oh, you have a busy night. Did you say a busy night? I'm sorry. Busy night. Oh, ¿cómo fue que me dijo? Can you repeat what you said? Eh... Have a nice weekend. Ah, a nice weekend. I'm sorry. I heard night. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. You too. See you Monday. Bye. Thank you. See you to Monday. Okay.